guys, Mixed Media Girl here. I have a very exciting announcement today. I will be teaching fluid art classes at the Fluid Art Experience this year in Dallas, Texas in July. Tickets are available today at fluidartexperience.com and there are discounted hotel room rates and all kinds of awesome stuff. So make sure you check that out, fluidartexperience.com. will be down in the description as well, but go get your tickets right now. So the Fluid Art Experience is a three-day event of classes from six different amazing fluid artists. Please stay until the end of the video because I'll be telling you more about the other artists and what everyone will be teaching. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what I will be teaching, and then I'm gonna do a little art demonstration that's kind of a sneak peek of something that you can learn at the Fluid Art Experience. Each class will be three hours long, so each day there will be two classes. I will be teaching six classes, but I will be only teaching three different classes two times, so that you can actually sign up for the other artists' classes if you would like without missing any of mine. And a lot of the other artists are doing that as well. The three classes I will be teaching are, the first one is bottle bottoms and split cups. So everything that you can do with those, how they work, how you can use them, how you can create some amazing pieces with them, and so on. Second one is wacky pours. And this one I'm really excited about. Don't hold too much weight to the name. I couldn't come up with something really exciting, I don't think, but anyways, this class is um, the one I'm most excited about, and it's basically about letting go. I'm considering it more of an art therapy kind of class, but I know a lot of times people really stress about their pieces and making them perfect and really getting that technique down perfect, and this class is kind of going to be the opposite of that you're going to be using colors that you may not be comfortable with you're going to be doing techniques that you may not be comfortable with but i guarantee you you will have fun and you will just let go and create some amazing pieces and not stop yourself from creating amazing pieces because you're too worried or nervous about being perfect or doing it exactly right so hopefully <laughs> I communicated that well I'm I'm pretty excited about it and I know you guys are going to love it and lastly I will be teaching an embellishment class so how to add on to your pieces uh, by hand painting by stenciling adding vinyl mixed media using markers all kinds of things to uh, you know really complete a piece that you may feel is not quite done so let's go ahead and get right into a really fun demonstration and then I will be telling you a little bit more about the event at the end of the video. So today I am going to be doing a bottle bottom pour and this is going to be a really fun technique, not your average bottle bottom pour. So I do have my cake spinner here and on top of it I have a, a plastic hair cover to protect it so I don't ruin it too quickly. And I'm using a 12 by 12 canvas. I'm going to attach it to my spinner with just a couple little pieces of double-sided sticky tape. This is the foam kind. I generally get it from the dollar store, but you can get it from wherever, Michaels, Walmart, etc. And just use two tiny pieces. You don't need a lot. You just wanna hold it on there a little bit. Go ahead and center it as much as possible. And then I always like to test the spin before I put the paint on to make sure it's not gonna go flying off. Now I'm going to be filling my cup and I am going to be doing a purple rose today. So this is the cup for the leaves and that's going to be green. I'm using all mixed media girl pouring paints. So I've got white there. I've got a little bit of electric lime and I wanna create a really nice contrast here. Then I'm gonna do a little meadow green and some Everglade green, which is gonna be a nice, beautiful, dark green. I will be also adding a little bit of emerald green, because why not? Metallics are always beautiful. And then just for fun, we're gonna throw a little bit of gold in here, just a tiny bit. So I'm gonna layer these again.
I've got around five ounces in this cup now, which isn't enough for this canvas size, but we are doing a two part color combination. So the green is for the leaves. Inside, we're going to have purple for a rose I'm gonna be creating. So I'm putting very tiny amounts of paint in here. I'm starting off with white, and then I'm using this as a blackberry shadow. So it's a light metallic purple. And then I'm going to use a little bit of electric purple. And of course, some royal purple. Now on this other side over here, I'm gonna start off with some royal purple. Then we'll have a little bit of electric purple. I'm gonna put a little bit of amethyst. I'm intentionally not using too much of the metallics because I don't want some crazy cells. And then a smidge of the white. And that's more than enough. I put about an ounce and a half in each cup. We probably won't even use that. All right, so I've got the bottle bottom here now in the middle, and I'm gonna start by pouring over that. And this is going to create the leaves. This is the large bottle bottom out of my set, by the way, guys. I sell these in a set of three, two inches, three inches, and four inches, so this is the four inch one. And that's because I wanna leave a lot of space in the middle. like to let that drip for just a second and then as soon as I'm ready, make sure you're ready, <laughs> lift it off and then immediately I'm going to take my purples and we're going to do a kiss pour in the middle but I'm going to kind of tree ring it. I'm not going to use all this purple paint. That's actually more than enough. I do like to add a little bit extra to the cups though otherwise it's kind of difficult to get all the colors in there. Now I'm going to take a stick and I'm going to wreck these leaves, not required, just something I like to do personally. And you can probably see in there the amethyst is already causing cells. Should have probably gone even a little lighter or maybe not used that color at all, but I think we're going to be good. And now we spin. All right, there we go. Now the reason that I do it as a, a kiss pour, instead of just doing a tree ring in the middle, is because I want these kind of wavy lines. If I do a tree ring, I can probably still kind of mimic that, but it, for me it's just easier with the kiss pour. But a tree ring could work here as well. I like getting these wavy lines because that's a little more realistic to me. And there we have a purple rose. Let me bring you guys in for a close-up. So I love how this green came out for the petals. I think it's pretty perfect. I probably could have used even a little bit less on the purple so that I had a smaller rose, but I think this is awesome. We got a nice contrast of light to dark in here. And even this area over here is pretty fun. So there you have it, a uh, purple rose bottle bottom technique, which you can come learn about at the Fluid Art Experience. I'm gonna be looking at my computer for the rest of the details here because there is a lot to cover and I wanna make sure I don't forget anything. But the other teachers that will be participating in this amazing event are Massey Art Studio, Sarah Taylor, Cause Creations, uh, Pieces of Terra Artistry, Garrick Brown, and then, of course, yours truly. This will be taking place July 21st through July 23rd at the Renaissance Hotel in Dallas. There are discounted room rates on the website that you can get, so make sure you get those signed up so you don't miss out on those discounted rates. And then there are some extra fun activities that we will be doing including on Thursday night, there will be a special meet and greet event where you can come and just say hi and meet us all and chit chat. 
There will be a gala dinner on Friday. We'll all get a little dressed up and have a really fun time. And then there's going to be a wrap party on Saturday once everything's kind of coming to a close. Additionally, for everybody that's signed up for a class, there are going to be some free demonstrations. You'll be getting some free goodies and art supplies. There's going to be a canvas stretching and like how to stretch your own canvas from Jerry's Artorama. There's going to be a free art performance from Cole's Color. And you will have the opportunity to purchase the art of the artists that are teaching at this event, which is really exciting. Space for each class is limited. So please go ahead today, book your room, and then book as many classes as you want at fluidartexperience.com. And I'll see you in just a couple months in Dallas. Bye guys.